Tuscan Holdings, QuantumScape, Lion Electric, Romeo Power Stocks Update. So Tuscan Holdings closed the session of the 4th of February 2021 at $21.82. And before we proceed on, if you're watching this video, especially if you're one of the earliest, please stay tuned. We're going to run a live session and we're going to cover this and these other, other, all those other stocks um, in those sessions and also try and discuss what's going on in the markets and uh, beyond, you know. So uh, it closed at uh, $21.82. Obviously, Toscan is a, is a spark. It's trying to take uh, Microvast public. Uh, Microvast, I believe, is a battery maker. No, I think so. Yes, and um, it appears to be in a strong bullish trend. Its 200-day moving average is upward sloping, and the MACD histogram is above zero. Comparative relative strength analysis shows that the issue is outperforming the S&P 500 index. Momentum for Tuscan, as measured by 14 period slows to classic oscillator, is waning. Okay. This means that investors are less aggressive in their recent purchases and may even be taking position, their profits in positions but at lower prices. The unbalanced volume indicator is bullish, the slope of the indicator is positive and suggests that buyers are presently more active than sellers. Okay, let's uh, have a look and see what's going on in the, in the uh, pre-market session of uh, Tuscan Holdings. Tuscan is below trading below all of its uh, trend lines apart from the long-term trend line which is a 200-day trend line and is up slightly 0.27 percent so before we move on to the next one which will be uh northern um what is it called um lion electric northern genesis northern genesis yes so northern genesis is uh you know trading below in between some of the trend lines it's mixed in between um it's trading above the short-term trend lines above the long-term trend line but uh, one of the all the longer term trend lines it's uh trading uh below it and also trading below the uh volume weighted average price so this is all, all that is going on in the pre-market as, as it concerns uh, northern genesis micro vast Okay, so the, um, the market hasn't, um, uh, it's not in session at the moment, so so we're coming to you uh, from the pre-market hours. So uh, we are currently covering Northern Genesis, so let's have a look and see if we can get that going, Northern Genesis. But Northern, Northern Genesis uh, Lion Lion Electric Northern Genesis obviously is a spark. It's trying to it's trying to take um, uh, Lion Electric public. So they are working out and smoothing out the merger. And Lion Electric, I believe, will uh, have uh, the it will have a change of uh, ticket when that comes up. So we, because we're running a lot of applications right now, it's uh, consuming a lot of our memory, and that's why we are seeing this slow, 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 slow um, action from the application. So let's return and see. Let's stay here while we uh, wait for that to load up. So. Um, Yes, Northern Genesis not not exactly very that much active at the moment. It's uh, down zero point three four percent in the pre market session. And it seems uh, for now nothing much will is going on there. Okay, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, coming up. So it seems Northern Genesis hasn't uh, done it. Yes, it's since it's spark. Most of them are still very much recent, so they don't have a lot of uh, long-term data. And then we 
Uh, we only have momentum. Momentum for Northern Genesis Line Electric is improving. The 14 period slow stochastic oscillator is rising as investors begin to purchase shares. The unbalanced volume indicator uh, shows that longer term accumulation has given way to near term setting pressure by traders. Okay, and um, we have here uh, this is not very new Line Electric and FLO add uh, energy deep in their color, color, collaboration with new reseller agreement and as at uh, the 3rd of February uh, which is about two days ago Mary Tor awarded new business to produce electric power trains okay so uh, yeah that's what's going on here so We'll move on to the next one, which will be. Oops, sorry, we didn't cover quantum skip. We're supposed to do that quantum skip. Yeah, fortunately, it's uh, coming up. Uh... Okay, quantum skip. They closed that session of the fourth of February, twenty twenty-one, at forty-seven dollars thirty-nine. And right now, in the pre-market, it has already. We already have about 59,000 shares uh, already exchanged and it has a market cap of 17.2 billion, considered a mid cap, 363.96 million shares are uh, outstanding, 14% are held by institutions and uh, it already has some short interest, but we can't exactly say how much that is completely and we're, there is some news here as concerning quantum scape. Okay, let's see if we can get that. And it says um, it has a price target of um, it says price action analyst action Goldman Sachs starts quantum scape at neutral with forty two dollar price target. Okay, so and uh, forty two dollar price target neutral. Okay, all right, and it's trading above that uh, price target. So can we just conveniently say has exceeded that target? Okay, so uh, momentum for quantum scape is improving. The 14 period slow stochastic oscillator is rising as investors begin to purchase uh, shares. The unbalanced volume indicator shows that uh, near term accumulation has given way to near term selling, near term selling pressure by traders. Okay, so um, quantum scape uh, has, uh, if we go by what happened as at uh, December. December 20, 20, 2020, as of 22nd of, 20, of December 2020, you can see that it has you know, significantly corrected. It has pulled back, you know, trading way below 50% of that all time high. You know, so, um, yeah. Uh, well, it's also presenting a buying opportunity, currently trading up below some of the one of the short term trend lines and the longer term trend lines it's trading below the 50 day moving average the 20 day moving average and just slightly above the 10 day moving average it's uh, i guess the problem with uh, the stock was that um certain market that participants are not may not be willing to pay 42 dollars per share and unfortunately there are no fractional shares on uh, quantum scape and i don't know if it trades options at the moment so um well, regardless regardless people will still jump in but um they're waiting to see what's going on here but you know um if you want to jump in here you can afford it you have the resources you know i, I believe for now you know it has uh, the opportunities there it's oh, for over a month now it has um you know i believe for over a month yes for over a month it has been trading between 60 dollars and 47 dollars so very much sideways and um, it it continued to decline from that um, 5th of uh, January $63 price or thereabouts and um, has now started to gradually look up you know so yes you know the, the, the opportunity to jump in is um, presenting itself there so um, let's move on to Romeo Power Yes. 
So yes, we have Romeo Power. So while we wait for that, we can go and uh, see what's going on with uh, Quantum Skip. So Quantum Skip is uh, quite active in the, in the pre-market session. is uh, slightly up 0.63 percent. Okay, so um, and also trading uh, below all of its trend lines, apart from the 50-day to 200-day trend line. Uh, for those who are, you know, who are trading. Um, the trading as yes, it's presenting opportunity an opportunity for them to jump in so let's uh, move on and look at uh, Romeo power Romeo power is up uh, 1.3 percent in the pre-market session and uh, trading above all of its trend lines apart from the volume uh, volume weighted average average price okay so Let's uh, have a look here. Yeah, and uh, it closed the session of the 4th of February 2021 at $18.44. And uh, so far, 8,900 shares have uh, been have exchanged hands. It has a market cap of $2.3 billion, 126.78 million shares outstanding. 15% are held by institu institu institutions and there is some short interest going on already and uh, Romeo Power appears to be consolidating within a long-term uptrend okay is it consolidating okay yeah no well looks like it the average uh, directional index or ADX is below 20 indicating that shares have traded sideways recently however the, up the 200 day is is still sloping bullishly upwards comparative relative strength analysis shows that the issue is lagging the S&P 500 the momentum for Romeo is improving the 14 period slow stochastic oscillator is rising as investors begin to purchase shares the unbalanced volume indicator is bearish the slope of the indicator is negative and suggests that buyers there, that there is a lack of buying interest the Bollinger Bands are presently wider than usual as a result of greater than normal volatility that accompanied the recent price move. Events such as this may precede a pause or reversal in the near term trend. Okay, so this is uh, probably one of the most um, um, downcast of all the um, stocks we have covered of late uh, based on um, uh, the analysis on um, available digitally, I think. Yeah. Concerning, you know, concerning um, um, yeah, Romeo Power. So, well, indeed, I can also say that um, you know, if you feel confident, regardless of the negative and uh, um, negative uh, sentiments and um, outcomes and conclusions concerning Romeo Power, you know, um, it's still you know trading below all of its. Uh, mid uh, to short term trend lines so you know that can also be deemed as an as a buying opportunity you know so if you are keep if you have the ability and the willingness to get in on uh, room, your, room your power right now might be um, it's a, 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 one of those opportunities you know at some point it was trading at um, thirty four dollars it's currently trading at eighteen dollars forty four I would I would you know definitely consider this a buying opportunity so if you're new to this channel subscribe like and share if you're really a subscriber thank you very much for uh pushing the subscribe subscribe account uh, past 1000 and growing so uh stay tuned and uh on a daily basis we'll try to run uh, live sessions so you can get involved and uh, ask uh, and give us some um, stocks that you want us to probably have a look at you know so beginning today today the fifth of um February, yeah, hopefully there should be a live session. Thank you very much for watching.